Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to another look at Everspace. If you've seen my previous video on this game, you'll know that it is a roguelike space shooter, the aim of which is to progress ever deeper into space, and much like FTL, it can be very much of a challenge to do so. Now, this video is going to be somewhat different to my usual content, because unusually for me, this one is going to be an unedited playthrough. But I don't plan on doing too many of these, so stick with it and let me know what you think. So, here I am then in Sector 2, just trying to get some other materials so that I can upgrade my ship. Sector 2 is about 10 zones in or so, 5 or 6 zones in, maybe. There we go. So around this somewhere is another jump point to get me further into the depths of space. And you can see it actually looks quite pretty around here, very nice looking. Up there we can see some ships, alien repair drones, they should be relatively easy to take out. I'm going to go and attack these. Because in their repair drones they're quite, quite capable fighters aren't they? In fact there's a load of them here. I'm going to try and take them all out though. Probably won't make it very far to be honest. Right now, my shields are all gone, my, my hull is nearly gone, but I want to try and get as many credits and as many resources as I can here, and they should at least drop a few things for me. As you can see, the combat is as spectacular as ever, loads of really great explosions there. But there's some more coming over, these times some drones, outlaw drones rather than repair drones, although they're quite a distance away. I'm tempted to avoid them for the moment because you can see my ship is now quite a bit more damaged than it was just a moment ago, but there's other things out here that I probably want to collect. I'm not sure what that is down there, it looks like some type of black hole. Now where's this jump? jump mode. Let's see if I can collect the shield upgrade there and some fuel before I go on. Without the fuel you can't jump into the next zone. You need that. You can see at the top right hand corner there I've got a little icon there telling me how much fuel I've got. One over five units. So we're getting quite low but there should be enough there to get me into the next area. Right, I can't use that. So do I want to attack these, or do I just want to get going? That's the question. Well, I'm going to attack these. Why on earth not? Not sure what the pink stuff is, whether they're attacking me or... That's a function of my ship, but absolutely the first time I've ever seen anything like that happen. Well, they were easy to destroy, weren't they? Right, an outlaw scout, so I'll go and destroy this one as well. And looks like I've got no missiles left now, so it's going to make the combat a little bit more difficult because I do like using the missiles. But there we go, and he's gone. Unfortunately, no credits for that lot. So, as you fly around these areas of space, you will find lots of other resources. I've got an energy injector, which will boost the fuel in my ship, or the energy in my ship, rather. But, what I really want is a scan probe, enabling me to scan this area so that I can find some of the resources that are no doubt located here. But, it looks like that's not going to be a possibility, so we're going to jump on deeper into space. I did have this entire section recorded. But unfortunately, it didn't come out on the footage, so we're going to have to go from here. So I can travel to this zone here, which is a yellow one. It's medium risk. I'm aiming for this one here, a higher risk one. I want to see what they're actually like. So off we go. I'm hoping there's going to be some fuel in this in this region because I wouldn't have thought I've got enough for one more jump. Look at this ice! 
Some really nice effects on that. And I can't see any obvious resources here, but what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time just having a quick look around, just to see if there is anything I can find or use. Now some of the resources, some of the nodes and things you find out here are fully mineable. Looks like over there we've got some alien drones. Now they're Mark II ones, which would suggest they're quite a bit tougher than what I've currently faced. But we're going to go out there over there and have a look anyway. See if they've got any reasonable resources there protecting. Oh, scrap. Scrap is one of the materials that you can use to craft yourself some items. I've upgraded one of my weapons already on this ship. I've improved the Gatling gun. The fuel, especially 23 units, is going to be a significant help. But here we go. Let's see how long I actually last here. These ones with the beam lasers are a real pain. They can do a lot of damage. And you can see my shield is already down. And without the missiles to try and get a bit of extra damage off these ships, I'm going to really struggle to defeat them. And, oh, I can't even get this one. It's been healed, isn't he? Yeah, he got healed by one of the repair drones. Not that it made much difference anyway, because it looks like of my session there was coming to an end. So you can see 42 minutes there to get to the sixth zone within the second sector. And all that's now lost. I'm back to the start. All I've got to show for that is 1,200 credits. And we'll see what we can purchase with the perks. Probably not much at this point. Well, I can upgrade the shield capacity. I think that is probably what I will go for. Always better to have a big, bigger shield, I find. Or hull hit points is probably quite nice as well. I'm going to go for the um, shield capacity bonus. That should leave me 400 credits. And I don't think there's anything I can actually purchase with four credits, unfortunately. I'm just slightly short of getting some extra hull hit points. Hull hit points. Right, let's see what happens this time then. Straight out the bat, we've got some enemy drones nearby. I could probably get away without fighting them, but as soon as they're right here, we might as well dive straight into the combat. And I'm going to switch, switch to the Gatling gun, as that's the one I prefer to use. And where have they gone? Right, not too bad. We managed to keep our shields up. There's some fuel there they've dropped, but not a lot of use. Now, when I previously did a video on this, every time I destroyed a ship, it seemed to drop credits, and that no longer seems to be the case, which is a bit unfortunate. <coughs> and in these, excuse me, and in these zones, I'm going to do a scan. Now, I've only got two scan probes. And this is the start area. You've got the choice to just jump straight on and go to the second zone or explore the zone we're in. And I'd rather explore the zone we're in, seeing as this is very early on. I can try and collect some resources and build my ship up so that it's better prepared for the later stages of this sector. There's various containers here. It does depend what's in them. Now you can see as I'm boosting away, it's using up the little green bar just below my reticle there. That green bar is my ship's energy, and it also is used for firing as well, so if I boost into an area where there's some enemy ships and I've got no energy left, then I'm not going to be able to attack them. Nanobots are good because they can be used for repairing your hull. Compounds are nice because, well, they're a crafting material. What else have we got around here? A little bit of ore. That's quite a long way away. Not too worried about the ore yet. I'd rather see what's in the container, so let's go for this one over here. I 
for missiles, lovely. Now, I use a lot of missiles in, in combat, they can end the fight very, very fast, unlike um, shooting them where quite a lot of strafing and various other, various other techniques are required. Missiles can end the fight very, very fast, and so they're highly favourable if you can find them. Highly enhancer, I guess that's something I'm not going to be able to pick up. So you can only fit a certain amount of devices to your ship, but as you upgrade it with perks, you can fit quite a few more items. That's what we got. Let's have a look up this way then. We'll have a look in a minute and see if we can craft anything. I'm going to get this ore whilst I'm here, but probably better if I don't fly into the little processing machine here. Plenty of it laying around. Strangely enough, scrap can be one of the harder items to find. You'd have thought there'd be plenty of scrap land around this space in these sorts of areas. But it seems that's not the case for the most part. So this will be the last thing I'm going to collect. Unfortunately, like I say, I have had to use up a scan probe just to get that. And now it's time to jump to the second zone within this sector. And you never know what you're going to find there. As you've probably seen before, this will take me straight to the system map and I can choose whether I want to go the easy route or the medium risk route, as you reckon. Nothing quite like a challenge, is there? Let's go the medium risk route. I do believe that the higher risk the area has, the more chances there are that you're going to find some valuable and useful items. Unfortunately, though, you can't see what items are in your area unless you use a scan probe. And as they're a limited supply, I'd rather not use them just yet, but mining this rock here will give me some fuel. Once you run out of fuel, you won't be able to go further into space. What else have we got over there? Some more fuel and a bit of gas. So some of the structures laying around in space, this dismembered ship does look great and I very nearly flew straight into that mine. Something I do all too frequently. Right, where is that fuel? Fuel isn't too bad for early on, in, at least in the first sector, you can come across quite a lot of it or get enough to keep your tank full. I've got a little bit of that there. So, time to move on now I guess already. Let's go to the third zone. If I can find it that is. Up there. Off we go. Very misty looking area, this one. Let's we'll see what it's like in the next zone. So much for that being medium risk. Now, as I mentioned before in the previous video, this is an alpha build of the game. You can see down there in the right hand corner that it says alpha. And it is very early on in the game's development, at least in its release cycle. There's going to be a lot more stuff added to the game as it continues to grow. See if we can see any useful materials around here. Now occasionally, like we've got Terran fighter out there, I've had to actually attack the friendly units to get some of the resources I need, most notably fuel, when fuel runs out and there's nowhere to mine it from. Well, the only way to take it is to get it from your friends. And uh, you can't do that peacefully, you have to do it forcefully. And generally, they're not too happy about that. Right, some alien drones over here. I'm going to go and attack them. You can, I can always just jump straight out of this area and try and get through the zones as fast as possible, but sometimes it's quite nice to get involved in the combat as well. 
I suppose the side of that is that combat's a little bit too easy to to avoid. Where's this guy? Where's you? Where are you? What I'd like to see is that the jump coordinates being locked down until you've destroyed all the enemies within the area, forcing you therefore to attack them. And I just lost a little bit of hull there. Nothing too drastic. Sometimes the enemies drop some nice loot. But um, you know, what have we got? We've got some nanobots. Hopefully they are coming handy later on. Nanobots, like I say, allow you to repair your ship. The various modules and the... This is the first time I've seen that. Nanobots scrap. What have we got? A chunk of ship or debris that we can shoot and break apart. Yep, there we go. Is that it? There we go. Right, let's have a quick look then at what we can build and or repair. We'll repair that little bit of hull there. And let's see what equipment we've got. Okay, still nothing here that we can upgrade. We still need some plasma and we still need some crystals. Got a whole load of scrap though, which is nice to see. So without scanning here, I'm not going to find any other resources without spending a lot of time flying around. Sometimes you do find these rather large asteroids, much much bigger than the one I'm just looking at here. And you can actually fly right inside of those. They look absolutely stunning when you do come across them. And they usually have some nice resources hidden within them. Sometimes uh, utilities that you can use. Other times they have crystals growing inside of them. And as you've seen, crystals are an essential component of we got there. Little scouts. I'm going to leave these two now and jump onwards. Like I say, I'd kind of like to see this exit node locked down if there's enemies present, but at the moment that's not currently how it works. So I'm making my way towards this jump gate there. The jump gate will take me to the second sector, which is where you saw me at the start of the video. Right, this one looks much more involved, a bit more going on here. Got some dark matter, that's something new. Some crystals, more crystals, and some nanobots. So I'm going to try and pick this, all these resources up before I engage in combat. Oh no, they're missile turrets. I don't want to get too close to them because they do do quite a bit of damage. Of course, sometimes they're on top of you just so suddenly. And that's the missiles attacking me there. I've strayed a little bit too close to the that area of fire. Let's try and get out there and reach a bit. There's a lot of stuff around there I'd like to try and collect. Right. Scanning probe, that's going to be very handy. But we've got to try and get in there now without getting too much damage from the missiles. Some credits over there as well, and some crystals. The most valuable here, the thing here though for me is the scanning probe. Let me try and see if I can, oh no, how, many, how many missile turrets have we got there. see that one. Now I'm out of shield again so I look like I've just put myself into a bit of a bind there. So I'm just going to jump out there as fast as I can. But it was worth it because I've got the scanning probe. Although I did use my one of my upgrades to get out of here. See me flying very very fast. Much faster than we normally get to move. Okay, so let's see if we can repair at all. We should be able to repair quite a significant amount because I did collect a lot of nanopods. 
How many missiles have we got left? Just four. Oh, we can actually craft some scanning probes now. Let's tempt him as well. I've got four of them, or two of them at least for the moment. What's this? The icons seem to be missing. Okay, right, so well, let's get out of here and move onwards. Obviously travelled a little bit too far out of the game's comfort zone now. I didn't realise we got those sort of messages. Travel back, you're going too far. Now here I'm going to use one of these scanning probes to see what I can find. Looks like a... Perhaps a non-friendly ship over there. Or is that structure already damaged? It looks like it might be broke. Definitely want the container that's there. And some ore. I don't know what the comm hub does. It's the first time I've seen that. So some of these pods here, not in this case, but sometimes they're destroyable. And you can actually take the fuel out of them if they are. No, this is friendly. Um, installation, so I'm not going to attack that. I'm not going to take the cargo from there either. Right, let's get my weapon charged up and we'll attack those scouts and then go over to the plasma field over there where we can get some plasma. Right, I've got to keep in mind I only got four missiles here. And like I say, I like to use missiles on these targets. Oh, nearly. Only a little bit of hull left on him. And as we gonna, am I going to get at him before he just takes my shield down? Oh, I don't know which one went first there, my shield or his ship. Some credits there. Still haven't earned many credits, unfortunately. Looks like it's a bit harder to earn credits than it was on the first video I did. Definitely something seems to have changed over the past few days. Let's go sit in the plasma field. Now, basically, you absorb the plasma, as far as I can tell, once you're inside this little zone here. Only a certain amount of it, though. Another nice little graphical effect, though. Oh, no, we need to collect the little glowy... Orbs there, do we? Nope. I guess we just collect it as we're sitting here then. You've got free look on the camera as we rotate around. We hold down Alt on the keyboard to do that. That plasma field has now completely disappeared, so much more other resources here too. Subroutine Devastator. Unmiable Asteroid. And some more. Let's see what this is. I probably can't fit this as I don't think I've got enough room on my ship currently to have any more modules. No, it won't let me have that. No free slot available. Okay, so that will do for the moment perhaps. Unless we can find some fuel. It's over there. It's going to be ore. More. Unfortunately, it looks like no fuel to be found, so I guess we'll keep jumping. Now, close to this gets to the end of the sector, I think there was just one more jump, wasn't there, after this? Yeah. There we go. So, this one should have the jump gate within it, and if I want, I can head straight towards the jump gate and get myself firmly in Sector 2. And I'm quite tempted to do that. But first, I'm going to take a look at this installation here to get myself a bit more fuel because I don't want to get into that zone and not have any fuel. 
Unfortunately, it means I've got to attack a friendly installation. My missile went totally off course there, totally off kilter and attacked this thing here. There we go. Right, down here. We should be treated to quite a nice explosion in a minute when I destroy these pods. Ah, who's attacking me? Let's get this quickly. Let's see how much of that fuel we can get before I get destroyed again. Okay, so it's the missile thing over there. You can actually shoot the missiles out the sky if you're lucky enough or good enough aim. Didn't realise there was another missile boat so close by. So I probably would have avoided it otherwise. They're not that smart though, they're to try and shoot through the walls. And sometimes they damage themselves to do that. Talking of not too smart. Try not to crash into things. So what's this under here? More fuel? Let me get a bit more fuel. Precious commodity out here. Something you do really need to keep continuing on your trip. Unfortunately having to destroy friendly units isn't the way I like to do things, but there you go. It's well trapped in there, these bits of fuel, aren't they? Alright, and one last bit then. And then we're going to head towards that jump gate, I think. And this will take us to Sector 2. I'm facing the right way, that is. Off we go. And I think for the moment this is where we'll leave it. A lovely view of the galaxy over there, just look at that. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time. Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and I'm out here on what I feel is a particularly important mission. Jack Station wants to jump, and it wants to go to the newly renamed Beagle Point, one of the furthest points we can currently reach within the entire galaxy. This monumental undertaking will take Jack Station over 60,000 light years, and would at last give all commanders a refuge out there in the deep void of space. I don't know how long the station will be there for, but it will represent the furthest any station has ever travelled. And for a station to travel that far, it requires serious resources, and with that in mind, Jax has enlisted the help of the Fuel Rats, the player-run search and rescue group that has assisted many thousands of commanders. Together, they have set up a community goal for the delivery of hydrogen fuel, and although I'm here on the final day of that, I'm hoping at least to make a minor contribution. Fortunately, hydrogen fuel is a fairly common commodity, and here, within the system I'm currently located at the station Unity, they sell that on their commodities market. So I'm going there right now to collect as much as I possibly can.